morning, everybody. I'm so excited. My buddy's here, Miss Susan Kiker is here, and she brought a couple of guys yes. with her. Mm -hmm. Did you just kind of, were they hitchhiking? Uh, <laughs> They're dressed too nice to be hitchhikers. Well, well that's what I thought. <laughs> that's why I stopped and picked them up. No, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you can't laugh about life, what are we going to do exactly, in today's world? Yes. No, <laughs> yeah. I, it's my privilege to have a uh, our former CEO at Blue Ridge Medical Center and now our new CEO, Gary Paquette. Uh -huh. uh, he's, he's taken over. Uh, William is doing the special projects at our corporate uh, for all the other hospitals in mm -hmm. Java. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's, he made the trip here today to be, to be with us. And you came all the way from? Huntsville, Alabama. I thought you lived in Huntsville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's awesome. I've been to Huntsville and yeah. I've gotten a speeding ticket to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Should have yeah. called me. I'd have gotten yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, it was probably a family member that yes. gave it to you. No, this one. No. You are not leaving us. You are just going to be in an umbrella to help with everything. Yes. Okay. Correct. Now, how did they rook you into doing this in a small town? Um, I've been doing healthcare administration for over 35 years. Um, originally from Vermont. Um, we will not hold that against you because I've been to Vermont and it is so gorgeous. It, it, it's it's almost like this. It is so beautiful. Not in the winter. Though. It's like this but not in the winter. Yeah. It's very, yeah. very cold in the winter. Um, and I've been in a number of places around the country and most recently in New Mexico for six years and uh, I, I met the principals of Java there and I was separated from them mm, four or five months ago and they asked me if I would be interested in doing something for them in Georgia. I had never been to Georgia before. Wow. First time here. First impression Flew of in Georgia. Georgia. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. It is Blue beautiful. Is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I said, that's kind of our hook, line, and sinker. Mm -hmm. we, we invite people to visit, and then we're like, look, we're going to offer you a job, and after you've already been here and met people and seen <clears> the views, and yeah, it's not hard to handle, is no, it? No, yeah. everyone loves. Now, we're excited because the hospital has been open to different things but not to maximum capacity so what are we what are we doing now? okay what we're celebrating is the reopening of our inpatient services we've had all the services in the past that we had mm -hmm. prior uh, and so now we're reopening as critical care access mm -hmm. hospital and to the average person sitting at home in McKaysville, Georgia, mm -hmm. what does that mean they can get there today? If you need to be admitted to the hospital, you can be. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, they had to be uh, sent to another location okay. for their care. And do you still do the helicopter? Yes. For, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Definitely. That was important. Yeah. It is very important. Yeah. Because first of all, you diagnose them, and then you can transport mm -hmm. them to if you can't for a higher them. level of yeah. care. Right. If needed. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, what about employees? Have you had a chance to meet a lot of the employees? I met almost all of the employees, mm -hmm. yeah. And what great quality of people? They're, they're really nice. They're really nice people. They're very well educated and they're very um, concerned about the hospital. Mm -hmm. They want to see it grow and, and thrive and be very successful right. in the future so they can have jobs in the future. Yeah. Right. Well, as a realtor, I can tell you one of the first questions I get asked, because a lot of my hospital. clients are over 70, where's the nearest hospital? Right. Well, Absolutely. I can sell them something in Morganton, but not if I can't get them to a right. hospital. That's right. mm -hmm. So that's very important. And, and yeah. to have all the full care, that's really important. Yeah, opening Correct. med surge, uh, it also expands our ability to do different types of surgeries at the, at the hospital that, that may require a little bit longer stay at the mm -hmm. facility. So it really does open up a lot, lot of uh, services that the community didn't have prior. Mm -hmm. So that we're, we're going to celebrate that on October the 1st. Mm -hmm. I think, when are we actually, do we have a date yet when we're setting to four? I think the 23rd, the, or the first patient. Yes. September the 23rd. Right. Okay, yeah, next week. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so September the 23rd. Got to go find one first, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I see, I so can go right. up there and trip and fall. I'm good at yeah, that. That's yeah. right. Oh, that the first patient, that would be great. Right? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Bring the whole camera crew. Yeah. That would be yeah. even better. Yeah. And I am known for falling, so that would be great. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah. Actually, that's funny that my Fitbit told me the other day, 
and said, be cautious for falls. And I thought, you've read my history. <laughs> <laughs> they saw your bill come they, in from the other yeah. hospital. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, elderly folks want services close to home. They do. I have a 20 mile radius and y'all and I grew up in Atlanta and Orlando, two big cities. Now I'll go 20 miles out of Canton. I'll go 20 miles out of LJ. I'll go 20 miles out of Blue Ridge. I'll go 20 miles out of Blairsville, but after that, I'm done. We want stuff to be convenient. Yeah. So how cool is it to have, and you're right there in the location you've been forever. And you will get that compassionate care, like mm -hmm. we were talking earlier, because I've had people that have been in the hospital, and they told me they've gone to the larger hospitals, and they can't believe how caring the nurses are, mm -hmm. and everyone. Yeah on the staff so yeah. it and does you know, mean a lot etc used to have a slogan that was neighbors serving neighbors mm -hmm. y'all could adopt that today because you are neighbors serving neighbors right. again so and that's that's yeah. important you know if you walk into a hospital and you have problems and you see a familiar face that's a great way to start your visit you know well and it takes a lot of stress and worry when they see a familiar face yeah. they like yeah. oh you know you can help me yeah yeah now let's talk about a familiar face. How long have you been involved in this hospital? there. So it's, it's just, if it's familiar, it feels better. You're exactly right. It does. It makes a, a world of difference. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about a party that we love. We love the pink party. Yes. Yeah. The, what is it going to be? It's going to be October the 15th from 4 until 7. Okay. And we'll have door prizes, refreshments, just like we've had in the past. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we look forward to hosting that. Yeah. It's a great time for, you know, like you said, the mammograms are, you know, you always approach them with some trepidation. And you know to be able to come with friends and, and have a Yeah, nobody a good likes time. it. Nobody will ever say, I can't wait to get a mammogram. Exactly. But your life can't wait if you don't get a mammogram. Amen. That's because exactly early right. Early diagnosis is so, so that's very that, important. Yeah. yeah. So right after we were on mm -hmm. here last year talking about the, um, uh, let's see, we had our we had our party I think on October the seventeenth mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. year. Um, I got home that weekend and my wife found a lump <coughs> and stage three breast cancer. She was mm -hmm. having annual mammograms mm -hmm. and yep. it came up within a year mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> and you know, thank the Lord we found it and she's cancer free, but that's awesome. You know, it's a life change. Oh yeah. It yeah. is an absolute life change. Yeah. And, uh, had we not ca caught it as quick as we did, it would have killed her. Yeah. It was and, a, and a very aggressive, yeah. mm -hmm. very aggressive to go from, from nothing, to stage three in under 12 months, mm -hmm. uh, extremely aggressive cancer. Was there family history there? None. None. Nothing. See, that's what's so scary. Very. And we all yes. look at what are we doing in the world today that is changing mm -hmm. our medical. Yeah. And it because, was just an accident. Yeah. She caught it. She was putting on some lotion and, and felt something and thought, what is and, that? Yeah. yeah. Asked huh. me. And as soon as I felt it, I knew what, oh, wow. what it was. Scary. Scary. And and now, when we think about breast cancer, how many lives? I did a program probably 16 years ago, and I actually, we just put it on YouTube, and it's mm -hmm. a lady who survived cancer. And we had her sitting right over here on the set, and during that time, she wrote a book, a self-help book to help other women who, like your wife, well, I get a mammogram every year. Why do I need to check during the year? Yeah. Well, you need so, to check during okay. the year because it comes up. And, and it's one of those things, my sister died of cancer after one chemo treatment, but she had kidney cancer. Those are the cancers that yeah. you don't feel, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So you can't find it, but breast cancer is one of those that we can get on top of ourselves, and it's so important. Yes. And um, he mentioned Dr. Eford, he does stereotactic breast biopsies uh, now, and he's, he stays pretty Very busy. busy. Yeah. yeah, so. Yeah. Um, now, yeah. did your wife, I don't know how you deal with that diagnosis Whew. when they say it's rough. Yes. It's, yeah. How so, would she handle that? So actually, my wife does praise and worship, sings at church, and uh, it was a Saturday night when she found it, and she was supposed to sing that next morning. She was, uh, and we just curled up next to God and 
found strength in him and it's been That's it's really it. been yeah. quite amazing to be yeah. honest with you but, and if you don't have that faith mm. to turn to during that time mm -hmm. I, I cannot mm -hmm. imagine <clears throat> I, I, I can't my aunt had breast cancer my mother's sister so of course then you know you mm -hmm. always think about then my mother had melanoma so you know it runs in the family, but with your wife not having mm -hmm. any indication, Nothing. that's yeah. a miracle. It yeah. was, it really yeah. was. Um, yeah. And she's, wow. she's gone now. You know, um, <clears throat> she's read everything you can read. She's, and, and she's helping other people, oh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. She's yeah. passing on, moving that yeah. on. Well, that's why I want so you to watch fair. the program that we put on. We just did it. Y'all will die laughing. I'm not telling my age or my weight, but I will tell you, I'm old and dirt. <laughs> 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 And I just realized the other day that I won't be here forever. So I have an archive of about 2,000 programs. And so I started bringing them into the guys. And one of them was with the lady who had battle mm -hmm. cancer. And I didn't know how it was going to affect me because I hadn't had cancer yeah. when I had her mm -hmm. own. Yeah. Well, now that I've had cancer, I get it. Yeah. I yeah. get it. And she was an inspiration to so many people because during her battle for her life, she was helping other people. Yeah. Yeah. And I think maybe sometimes God gives you something that yeah. makes you be a better person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To help others. Yeah. 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 It's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. That's it. It's crazy. Yeah. I love it. What a great story. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's what just, an amazing. It's life, right? Yeah. Life's happening yeah. out there with your. Yeah. Uh, so. And, and I is. wouldn't do it without God. No, no, no. We can't. <laughs> There's no way. We can't. Okay. Now we've brought you into Georgia. And you are going to, back to me now. Yeah. you're going to turn this <laughs> hospital around and you're going to make it full-blown services, every service we need. What can the community do for you now that you're here? What do we need to do to support this hospital? They need to come to our hospital and see our local physicians mm -hmm. that are going out of town. Mm -hmm. I call it out, out migration. They need to come and support it. If you don't use it, it's not going to, it's not going to stay here. Right. And that's very important yeah, because yeah, we were sure. talking out in the hall. A business can't sustain itself if it's red line, red line, right. red line. Right. Right. So we need the community support. They need to come to me and we need to manage it in a way that creates a, a positive working environment and produces a positive bottom line as well so we can stay in business. Right, you know? right. And people don't understand that. They don't. We have a lot of, <laughs> like Gary was saying, out migration. Um, <clears throat> and you'll see this in most rural communities where um, you'll have physicians come in for specialty care, uh, whether they be cardiac or nephrologist or you know whatever specialist, oncologist, and and they may come to the community and set up a clinic, but then when they order their test, there's almost this recommendation like they, that oh you should go down to the big hospital mm -hmm. at the metropolitan area and have your CT or your MRI or your ultrasound or your mammogram. Right. Those kind of things can be done at the local level and it's a bleeding off of resources, right? Mm -hmm. Where uh, if, if we leave those things in the community, because we can do labs. Labs are exactly the same whether they're done at right. Blue Ridge Medical Center or uh, you know, Emory, mm -hmm. right? Um, an X-ray is an X-ray. A CT is a CT. MRI is pretty much an MRI these days. I actually went to Fannin and uh -huh. had a bone density test done, mm -hmm. and then I had a um, I have a, a hairline crack in my leg that's been there forever from a car wreck, and I kept wondering why does my leg hurt all the time? Well, bingo! I went to Fannin and mm -hmm. had bone density and all these things, and they found that. At Fannin Ridge. Okay. You know. There you go. So there you go. And, and one positive thing, um, our x-rays are digital, which means the patient does not get that radiation, <laughs> which much. that's a very as positive much. thing. So. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. God, wait, yeah. it's time. So it's we're, time yeah. that people get back to coming to a local hospital. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Well, you'll see the, you'll see the push, you know, come from like a chamber of commerce, buy local, mm -hmm. buy local. Well, it's the same concept. Right. Mm -hmm. You need to leave as, as many health care dollars in the community as possible. Sure. And, you know, and one of our approaches is to try to have commu communication with the, the other facilities the, and the providers that are coming to the area and say, hey, use us. Mm -hmm. don't, don't make our patients drive 30, 45 minutes to get an MRI or a right. mammogram. You know, do it right here. Do it local. Sure. Keep mm -hmm. it local. 
And you know, I, I was thinking about that MRI and I told y'all the story of how long I was gonna have to wait for a CT scan. That's crazy. If you need yes. a CT scan, you don't need to sit in an ER six hours and y'all could do it in 30 minutes or so. Right. You know, yeah. I mean. It, we'll, we'll have you a CT scan as quick as you can get there. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> You won't I mean, wait that long. When they told me six hours, I went, no, I'm not staying here six hours. If I really need a CT scan, you would get me in there and do it. Yes. Well, we're backed up. Well, I'm sorry. I'm backed out. And I left. <laughs> <laughs> With the blood all over your With face. Blood, backed up, I backed up. <laughs> It was crazy. It was so crazy. have you told any of that story on, on air? Not, not much. Woo, no. That's a good one. Everybody <laughs> knew. Everybody knew because I came into work with my face black and blue and it, it really did look like I'd been in a barroom brawl. <laughs> and and I was so thankful to be alive there. It was two days before my birthday. And when we get to my age, we're just happy to see the Have birthdays. One. You know? <laughs> so it was 23 degrees. I was in a hurry. I was mad because my windshield was frozen over and I was having to thaw it out to get to work on time. And so I ran out to crank my car and I was running back in the house and blam, That's I ate it. the porch. <laughs> I ate yeah. the porch. Running on ice, isn't oh, it? Oh, it scared me to death. Well, it wasn't really icy. It was just, I just slipped. Oh, okay. And when I slipped, I bombed. And I honestly, you know how well, women want to keep their teeth if they can. These are all my real teeth. <laughs> I, I like to keep my yeah. teeth. And I can remember when I got up and what? saw the blood, all I could think about was, oh, God, are my teeth still there? <laughs> <laughs> that was your yeah. 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 yeah, but it was crazy. And then I was like, do I go to a hospital? Oh, it was the worst experience in history. And it was not your hospital. It was one of the big guys. Just make sure you do that. Yeah, it was yeah. one of the big guys. And the bill, y'all, honestly, mm -hmm. I was passed out. And I was just like, and I'm still fighting part of it because that one part for that 19 seconds that he's been in there, I'm not paying that. So it's crazy. Don't yeah. have a bad experience. Mm -hmm. Go have a good experience. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and and don't. Write, I may write a book about the good, the bad, and the ugly of hospitals. Well, I'm, I'm sure it would be a bestseller. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it is crazy. And and I remember when I got the bone density, I was worried to death because I had had a car wreck that my ankle was affected, my knee, and then this leg. And I'm like, holy cow, as you get older, I don't know, you you and I know about getting older, you don't, I'm, yeah. I'm but, getting there. But I'll child. tell you, our You're bones change as we get uh -huh. older. And so cold yeah. weather affects our bones. And I'm like, oh, it's already rough enough to get, but I'm wearing bone density, it was good. It was should, good. Yeah. yeah, and it was done locally. Yes. And that's right. important, and women need to do that. There's so of many course. things that women do that's kind of <clears throat> preventive and knowledgeable stuff right. we need to know yes. you know i just had mine a couple of weeks ago and you know it's you a got painless. good bones uh, yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah because what is it osteoporosis uh, and all well that? first comes osteopenia <clears throat> and then osteoporosis yeah and it really does damage once you get mm -hmm. to the osteoporosis yeah yeah so it's important get those uh -huh. tests done get those Absolutely. tests done pick up the phone and call now, when people call the hospital, is it the same thing? You get the switchboard, then you schedule, and how do you know who to go to? What questions? What questions can people ask, and who's there to answer? Well, we we the the calls come in to the main number, but of course, the number for the mammogram party goes directly to the uh, radiology department, so mm -hmm. they can schedule those. So okay. you know, seven zero six six three two four two four eight is the number they need to call and okay. get their mammogram scheduled. Uh, but call into the main number, and then you know they say, you know, I've got to order. Or the doctor gave me an order. So they'll transfer you to a registration mm -hmm. so that or the schedulers and that can okay. be scheduled. In order to do the mammogram, do they need to first call and get an appointment for well, the order? Well, it would be best okay. if, if they did, you know, so they'll know what time to be there. Of course, like I said, the mammogram parties from 4 until 7 or later mm -hmm. if, if need be. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So pick up number. the phone and call yes. and find mm -hmm. out because it's time and, and I'm actually, I got the nasty little note the other day that it's time for mine so I guess uh -huh. you'll be seeing me. Good. That'll so, be great. Yeah. We look yeah. forward to what it. What kind of refreshments we have? Well, that's <laughs> 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 what no, kind of no, we get well, <laughs> good. Always good. Always, always good. good. The food's it always is. good <laughs> and, and so the, the giveaways are and also. And pink is my favorite color, pink and mm -hmm. black. So there you mm -hmm. go. There you so, go. Yeah, so we'll we're looking forward to it. It's always you know, a more fun atmosphere. 
when you come. And it is one of those things, out of all the women who will show up, <clears throat> there'll be somebody who gets a bad diagnosis. Yeah. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. there's always that one that yeah. you're like, mm -hmm. wow, I was sitting next to her as we got our mammograms, and mine came out well, and hers did not. Right. And so we're there as a support system Correct. for each other, too. Yes. Yeah. You know, I think mm -hmm. that's important. It, it is important, very important. So. Now, do you follow up with everything you need? Because women are bad. We put oh, stuff yeah. on the sidelines. They, you know, we're like, yeah. because I'm always. <laughs> we're worse. <laughs> Yeah. We're worse. Y'all are guilty. <laughs> You're guilty I, as charged. I, I work yeah. in a hospital and I won't go see a doctor. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to ask you guys something. Have you had a colonoscopy? No. Have you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. He's much healthier yes. than I am. Well, my husband died Better of colon people. cancer. And it is so crazy. I tell everybody this. If you are living your life day to day to day to day, mm -hmm. and you're thinking, I really want to go to Alaska, plan that Alaska trip. I really want to go to Hawaii, plan that trip. We had uh, said for years and years mm -hmm. and years after a hundred years of marriage that we were going to go to Alaska. He went twice without me on the third trip I went and he had symptoms that we knew something was really wrong. Yeah. We were about to sign the papers to buy a little house on Cook's Inlet in Alaska when he was diagnosed with cancer. Mm. So I tell everybody, I yeah. hate colonoscopies, they are not fun but get it done. Yes. Because had he done it earlier, he had a traveling cancer that could have been stopped just like this. Yeah, right. But man, guilty, guilty oh, is charged. I, he's, he's probably pretty good. I'm horrible. I am extremely, <laughs> they, I don't have a choice. I have to get him. Yeah, and early diagnosis is so, mm -hmm. so important. So there you go. Gary told me the other day, he said, what was the, plenty of sleep, plenty of water. Yeah, sleep. Sleep, exercise, and diet. Yeah, I, get, yeah. I have none of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't eat, yeah. yeah, I don't eat well. I don't sleep well. Well, you know, that's weird. Drink enough water, no exercise. I drink tons of water. I eat healthy. And it's so weird because I took steroids and gained a whole lot of weight. So I took myself off the steroids, and the doctor said, why did you quit taking those? And I said, because I kept gaining weight. And they said, well, you needed them for your breathing. And I said, well, I'm alive today. So, <laughs> so I risked it myself. And I took myself off. It's dangerous to do that. It but is. I did mm -hmm. it. Because I said, I kept gaining the weight. And I kept gaining. And I said, this is crazy. And now, y'all would die laughing. You'd think I was a, a dadgum rabbit. Because I buy a big container of spinach, a big container of lettuce. And I eat lettuce and turkey. Or spinach and turkey, something like that. Uh -huh. And it was so funny because I thought, well, Lord, according to this diet, I ought to be a skinny man, but it ain't working. <laughs> it's age. Your age changes your metabolism. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's so tough. It's hard. It yeah. is. <clears throat> because as we age, things it, change. Yep. Especially women. Women. Yeah. Dad gummy. And when we get rid of those hormones, <laughs> dad gummy. There's nothing we can do. Mm -mm. We're just here, you yeah. know. So, it, But medical care, <clears throat> there are so many things now that are different. Like whoever, my grandmother didn't know what a colonoscopy was, no. and mm -hmm. they saved lives. They saved lives. You know, I can guarantee She probably didn't she never have had a mammogram. Yeah. Never mm -hmm. had a mammogram. No, and I'm going to make y'all laugh. We had a really good looking doctor in Jasper that we all loved, and he's long retired. But my mother in law was like 70 something and never had any of that stuff. And we sent her, and she loved her doctor. <laughs> that's the only way we got her to go because she's an elderly lady who lived on a farm, never been to a doctor like that. Right. And we said, You need to go see a gynecologist. What is that? You know, <laughs> but he was good looking, so it always helps. So she was happy that to go. Yeah, yeah. That always helps. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah so while y'all are interviewing doctors, you need to kind of look yes. and say, Okay, are you going to attract the old ladies? <laughs> <laughs> First thing we look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and we need doctors with personalities. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. that's one of the most important things. I choose to go to a nurse practitioner because she talks to me mm -hmm. and she listens to me. And I've gone to doctors and not any of y'all's, but I have been to them that spent 30 seconds in mm -hmm. the room. Yes. I timed them, 30 seconds. And I'm like, <clears throat> you can't know much about me. You weren't in here long. Uh -huh. That's so important for your doctors yeah. to understand that a rural community is a little different. We got to get yeah. to know you before we trust you. That's right. true. Right. <clears throat> and that's the way it is. So spend a little time getting to know your patients. Yeah. 
and it develops a relationship that mm -hmm. will last that, a lifetime. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it'll last a lifetime, and that's so important. But these guys who, that, yeah, order this, and they're uh -huh. gone, and you're going, who was that? <laughs> well, the nurse, oh, that was and your that doctor. Was the doctor right? What? <laughs> you know, I don't even know his name. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's so important. important. Yeah, very, very important. Mm -hmm. So out of the doctors that are there today, what doctors, what services do we have? Start off, go ahead. <laughs> I've only been we here three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just starting to memorize yeah, the yeah. names. Yeah. We have faces, ortho, you know. we have um, <clears throat> we have ENT, we have what else? We have cardiac we rehab. Cardiac rehab, yeah. mm -hmm. we've got general surgery, we've got all the family practice from mm -hmm. women's health to um, we don't what do pediatrics. pediatrics. We don't have know. pediatrics. Okay. We don't really have anybody specific for no. pediatrics. Uh, ophthalmology, we do a lot of cataract mm -hmm. surgeries at the hospital. Uh, I'm trying yeah. to think what else. Podiatry, foot mm -hmm. surgery. Mm -hmm. Hand. Hand. Hand yeah. surgery. Got probably mm -hmm. one of the Best. premier hand surgeons wow. in, mm -hmm. in Georgia, yeah. not just North Georgia, uh, that practices primarily mm -hmm. at, at our facility. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Dr. Worthington. Yeah, he's, uh -huh. he's fantastic. We're very lucky to have him at yeah. Blue And you know, Medical so many Center. people, I, I walked in somewhere the other day and somebody had braces on her hands and I said, what's that for? And she says, I have carpal tunnel. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of the kind of thing that he treats? Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. He does. He does. Amazing work. Mm -hmm. just, wow. Yeah. yeah. I was uh, talking to a lady that was in the surgical waiting area and her husband was seeing Dr. Worthington and she's from Melbourne, Florida, and she said, you know how many hand surgeons there are in, in Melbourne? I said, no, she said two. And I said, well, we're very lucky to have Dr. Worthington. You know, he, like we were talking about, he, he and his wife love the area. He, yeah. he was a former Air Force pilot. Mm -hmm. And so they chose our community and right. we're very lucky that, yeah. that they did. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's the cool thing. Once they mm -hmm. come to visit, then you can kind of capture them because oh, you're easy. like, well, you're going to have to live out here on the lake and you're going to have to live on yeah. the river and it's a really rough lifestyle. It's, it's, it's probably right. the easiest place you've ever recruited to. Oh, yeah. yeah. By yeah. far, most small rural um, environments don't have this kind of beauty and pleasure. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. it's, okay. it's awesome. You have a very, very good, very impressive list of uh, doctors here already. Most that's places awesome. That I've been. Mm -hmm. yeah, very, very, very lucky, but you don't really know. Yeah, and it was sad during that time that y'all weren't able to serve the community fully, you know, because people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's it was why. A sad time. Yeah. Well, we're, that's so why we're, we're celebrating, celebrating on October the first. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now, what about the pink ladies? Are they all geared up and excited? Oh yes, <laughs> most most definitely. Uh, we have a great uh, team of volunteers. We've gotten in a lot of uh, fall items that we bought at the. Uh, Mart, mm -hmm. and uh, so yeah, it's always I always say the pink ladies are the icing on the cake because yeah. during COVID when they were not able to come, everybody, you know, when's the pink ladies oh, coming yeah. back? And yeah. they just do so much not only uh, for the people visitors coming into the hospital, but for the employees too. Uh, they did a, a luau for us uh, back in. June, July, and it, you know, because yeah. they felt like the employees needed, uh, you know, a little pick me up, and it was it was a lot of fun. They, now, is the cafeteria going to be open like it always was? So a lot of people used to go there and have their meals. Oh, yeah. oh okay. yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah, it is yeah. open. Yeah. The pink ladies, I, I like having them out there. It's just a, it's like an uplifting spirit because mm -hmm. they're always smiling, they're always happy, mm -hmm. and and when they're there at the at that front desk, it just gives yeah. enough. It was another boost of life. Right. Mm -hmm. That was a so, pleasant surprise for me because the last two hospitals before I came here, the pink ladies were gone. They weren't really? They were, they were, they were, wow. They, they all That's just a, retired and, and, and nobody picked it up. And no, nobody uh -huh. picked it up mm -hmm. and they weren't in existence. Yeah. yeah, and there used to be, first of all, it was candy stripers. Remember right. that? Yes. You uh -huh. were old enough to remember too, the yeah. candy yeah. stripers. Yeah. yeah. You know, wouldn't it be cool if we could get schools involved so they could start a program with the younger ones? Because I've noticed the pink ladies are like me. We're getting old. We're getting old. We can't help it. 
but that's a, that's a good thing. <laughs> it's better than the alternative. Yes. Right? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's but um, talking about candy stripers, um, we work with the uh, Fannin County High School, the kids that are in the health sciences class. Uh -huh. we, uh, they came in radiology. Uh, the, the instructor there, he has them going to different locations. So they came and worked with the radiologist both at the hospital and at Riverstone. That's awesome. So I think he's one of two high schools in the state that has that. Really? So <clears throat> so we're, you know, proud to be able to help those wanting to I know go we into did it. I didn't the, know that it was the yeah, health there, it wasn't healthcare. common across mm -hmm. the state. Mm -hmm. No, it's mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know one other thing that y'all need when you're interviewing Make them draw your blood, and if they can get you with a needle, <laughs> because honestly, the worst thing you talk about a bad yes. experience five pricks at one hospital, yeah. not mm -hmm. your hospital. And finally, I said, For God's sake, go upstairs and get somebody who knows how to do this. And by then, I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, and and to this day, it's my favorite nurse times. ever, and by Finney, I know you're watching. The best nurse ever. She retired. So many nurses are retiring. Mm -hmm. We need to bring in a new force, mm -hmm. and somebody needs to teach them. Get it on the first stick. Nobody wants to be stuck twice no. or three times. Uh -uh. But I honestly <laughs> think it's the the ones that they call for special circumstances where they can't get the blood. I, you know, they call people that. I think it's an art. It is an to art. To be able, it is an art. To, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, because I know a lot of people. You know, you hear that those type of stories oh, yeah. all yeah, there's over. Always, there's always one or two nurses in the hospital. Mm -hmm. that, yes. Yeah, yeah. Are, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And if you they a get hard it. Time, you go call Jane Smith. And mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She'll come and get it right here. Yeah. And you're like. And, and then she says, I'm done. You're going, what? <laughs> and I sat here easy? for five sticks yeah. and you're done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's crazy. But, but bringing in the right team has to be so important for y'all mm -hmm. because basically you're rolling out an Emmy Award winning hospital. It's like mm -hmm. a movie. You know, yes. people are going to walk in and That's they're going right. to play the part. Right. They're going to be great doctors, great dietitians, mm -hmm. uh, great people up front and they're going to put their best foot forward mm -hmm. and they're going to bring that community yeah. back to a full hospital yep. which is yeah. something we need uh -huh. yeah definitely We're like definitely looking forward to yeah it. now what's the population now fannin county do you know mm. 25 of course you know it fluctuates with the uh, seasonal, seasonal yeah. Uh, yeah. residents yeah now, there's well, more second homes now we've seen a lot are. of people who now have yes. sold their florida homes and uh -huh. live in fannin county yes. full time yes. yeah because they visited for a few years and they got to retirement age and once we get to retirement age i don't know what it is about us old people we need a doctor all the time there's some <laughs> kind of doctor you need so, yeah <laughs> or a multitude yeah. of different specialists right. yes. cataract i didn't know y'all did cataracts oh, oh mm -hmm. yeah a lot of it yeah, yeah. Of it. yeah. yeah. probably I do 20 20 to 30 a week. Yes. Wow, mm -hmm. that is awesome. Yeah. I had to drive to Calhoun to get mine done. You'll die laughing. I drove a white Toyota over there to get the surgery, and I drive myself over there, blind as a bat, blind as a bat. <laughs> I get over there, and I had a wonderful Chinese doctor, loved him to death, and he, he was standing there looking out the window, and the lady had put up the chart, and, and she said, can you read the numbers? I said, well, I will when you put the chart up. And the doctor and it was. <laughs> and he said, he You said, drove here? He said, how did you get here? I said, I-75. He said, no. He said, who drove you? I said, I drove that white to Toyota. Else, yeah. And he said, you're kidding. He said, how did you drive? I said, very carefully. But cataracts like this. Mm -hmm. wow. And to be able to get that done at home, I yeah. mean, yes. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. awesome. You've I had yours done. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I tell uh, one of the ophthalmologists, he's local in Blue Ridge, I said, I'm so glad that you met your wife because she's a native of Fannin County. She's uh -huh. an ER doctor. I said, I'm so glad Elizabeth <laughs> met you and brought you here to Fannin <laughs> County because I mean, we have two that come in alternating weeks and there's at least 18 to 19 every week. Wow, mm -hmm. wow, so. yeah. And if you haven't had cataract surgery, get it done, don't yes. put it off. Because uh -huh. I kept putting mine off and it just kept getting worse. And honestly, that doctor, it was hysterical. I wish I'd videoed that. You talk about America's Funniest Home Videos because <laughs> the chart was up, I couldn't even see it. <laughs> I know. Uh -huh. 
Uh, you even were able to correct your vision. I, I did the light adjustable lenses, so uh -huh. I, I tell him every time I see him, I said, I wake up every morning, I feel like I've won the lottery because I'm like, oh no, I left my contacts in. I mean, and it's just a miracle yeah, that you, yeah. I, don't, I don't even need reading glasses uh -huh. anymore. Yeah. So it's I crazy. love it. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's one of those things with age. How long had you had yours before? Oh, she's going to ask how old you were. How, how old you had yours? Hey, I'm, hey, yeah, I'm old enough, okay? <laughs> but how long had you had uh, them before you took care of it? We all uh, put it Well, all it just, long. like you said, it just happened so suddenly. I told him, I said, Jordan, I've either got the world's dirtiest contact lens or, <laughs> or something else is wrong with my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you <laughs> could see the eye chart, though. <laughs> I can now. Yeah. yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, like I said, I feel like I've won the yeah. lottery. Well, it was weird because when the bandages came off after I had it, I have a painting that was in the breakfast room. It's a beautiful, beautiful painting. But I never knew how vibrant, how gorgeous mm -hmm. the colors were. Right. Seriously, yeah. it right. made that kind of difference. Mm -hmm. So if you've got cataract surgery and you're sitting at home wondering and waiting and watching, pick up the phone and, and call. Yes. Yeah. It's and, and definitely surgery worth it. Is that thing that you dread it, but then you get it done. Mm -hmm. It was so simple. Yes, yeah. it's so oh, simple. And they're the quick. How long in. were you in? It was well, probably fifteen 30. or twenty minutes. Yeah, I think I was it's in that maximum long. Maximum thirty yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's crazy. It is, and it's fixable, and that's what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's fixable, and that's life changing. Oh yeah, right. Oh, that's a yeah. I can yeah. Drive now. <laughs> Well, you were still driving. It's just a little safer. It was so funny because he said, how did you get it? Nobody I said, goes I was to cataract time. surgery alone. Right? Yeah. Nobody goes alone. Yeah. Uh -uh. Well, my daughter actually came and drove me home. Oh, okay. it was, it was yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Pre that's this was yeah, the pre-op yeah, appointment. The pre-op. This was the pre-op But you shouldn't have been driving I at your pre-op. And, and this is the thing, guys. When it rained, forget it. I oh, just stuck it. Uh, yeah. Because literally, mm -hmm. when it was raining, I couldn't see squat. It's just all grayed out. Yes, yes, exactly. And I was like, oh, heck, <laughs> I'm in so much trouble. But cataracts are those things that you can fix quickly. Okay, we've got a mammogram, Party. prevention, mm -hmm. colonoscopy. Y'all do those? Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so necessary. It is. So, I hate them. I hate them, y'all. But it's so necessary. Definitely. It is so necessary. And it's over in a little time. Mm -hmm. And you're like, the prep is the worst thing about it. But, you know, you got to do exactly. it. Exactly. And mm -hmm. preventive medicine is so important. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, like the hand thing, this, I had a surgery that went bad. And all this is hard and got some problems. But um, the doctor who did this, we had a problem in surgery that caused it, and I would love for the, your doctor mm -hmm. to look and see if there's any way we can correct this, because I can't touch it or hit it on anything, because mm. it feels like, ah, I'm going to hurt somebody. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he would I'd be glad to, to look at see it. you. He's, yeah. he's in Blue Ridge. Yep. That's awesome. Uh -huh. I love it. Local. Okay, local. We're going to take a break and do a commercial. You know why? Because we have to. But we're also going to do a song by Mr. Ella J because we have to. Because his fan club is sitting out there waiting on another song by him. Yesterday, the phone's ring, 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 ring. I love when you do his music. I love, okay, we're doing one for y'all today, so here we go. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? Loose. 
He's crossed the 40 to the 50. It's a foot race to the end zone. Keep it. He's got a little bit of running room. Hops over a defender. Picks up the first down. There he goes up the middle. He'll be cut down at the 20. He's into the end zone for a fan and rebel score. Catches it in stride. He'll go to the end zone. Breaks the tackle. Touchdown. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge.
Homes and city stuff Don't you think it's time to go Where black bears climb and waters flow Hummingbirds out on the deck Your feet propped up and what the heck you love how we live here in these mountains Down to Carter's Lake All the memories to make So much here for all to see A land that is so dear to me Welcome home to all your dreams Hot rod boards and crystal streams Now you love how we <laughs> We're back. We're back. Yes. Y'all got your mini concert. And if you're smart, you hit DVR because you got to hear the original <laughs> song, Mountain Life, and you got to hear my favorite, Smoky Mountain Memories. So if you're in these mountains, you are blessed, you are fortunate, you are lucky. And if you're looking for a house, call me. If you're looking for a hospital, call them. So there you go. Yes, there you most go. Most definitely. Now Susan, give the phone number again for the mammogram part. Okay, it's 706-632-4248. That will ring you directly to radiology and okay. they will schedule your mammogram. Okay, mm -hmm. and I will call and make that okay, darn great. An appointment, but it's so important. Exactly. It's so important and as we get old, how long do they tell us to keep having mammograms? Do we have them forever? I really, I don't know. I, I guess all. you yeah, do I because as you get older, more opportunities mm -hmm. to uh, have something happen. Yeah, yeah. occurs Basically, with she's your body. We're going to spread out, give out, or fall out. And that's pretty much what happens with old ladies. We spread out, fall out, or give out. Exactly. <laughs> So keep those mammograms yearly. He's going to write us. <laughs> He's going to call home this and say, stuff. "Listen, I bet there's nut." Calls <laughs> <laughs> out, spreads out. I really out. know what George is like. Now. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you do. Yeah. Welcome to Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. One hour here to do it. That's yeah. right. That's right. You know, we are so blessed to be in a community that cares enough to have a hospital serving mm -hmm. the community and. How far away do your patients come? Do they come from Blairsville? Do they come from just the Mineral Blair well, area? No, they, they, you know, some come from Blairsville south of here. You know, they've found the connection to the small 
rural health care right. where they get more attention, uh -huh. more compassionate mm -hmm. care. Mm -hmm. So they, they come from all surrounding areas. And right. we get a yeah. pretty good influx out of Tennessee mm -hmm. coming from Ducktown, uh -huh. you know, with Turtle. Copper Base and closing. Mm -hmm. Right, that was so um, sad, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and so that that region funnels down into uh, Fannin County Blue Ridge mm -hmm. Medical Center. Yep. Is there an oncologist on staff? Not on staff. Not on staff. Okay. Okay. We do have oncologists in Fannin yeah. County. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Because that is one of those things, it's like when I found cancer, actually it was found in Fannin County, the first one that was taken out. Mm -hmm. And um, in Fannin County, local local medical, and it was one of those things, you're like, those are not words you want to hear. No. But you want to hear them soon, sooner Absolutely. than later. Now, do y'all have a dermatologist? Not on the staff, we do have dermatologists in, okay. in the Because that's one area. of those things. Just for the record, we prefer not to have providers on staff. If we can have providers in the community mm -hmm. that are independent, it's, right. it's a better situation really mm -hmm. for us not to try to employ people, right, and, and have them come. So uh, if we can have oncologists in the community and dermatologists, mm -hmm. that's a, a better better scenario for us to not choose to, to use your hospital yes. yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. absolutely yeah. absolutely now medical care is changing because you will see the red line or the black line how's how's the government helping local hospitals are you getting paid on time do you have to fight with the government, well, the, for government your money? the government helps from time to time there's a there's two big trends in the country is rural hospitals are going out of business and closing mm -hmm. and OB sadly, OB very sadly. Right, and mm -hmm. OB departments are closing all over the country as well. Mm -hmm. The government developed the critical access program in 1997, which gave small rural hospitals, during that time a lot of them were going out of business, and they created this, this critical access program and they gave them cost-based reimbursement. They improved the reimbursement, which would allow them to stay in business. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's very yeah. important, yeah. And, and so if you haven't checked out a local hospital lately, this is the time mm -hmm. to do, do it. it. And again, the grand opening, grand reopening is? October 1st, Tuesday. 5 p.m. to 7, 7 30, 30, 8, 9, mm -hmm. ever how long you want to stay. Mm -hmm. Five to close if you bring us some cobbler, it may uh, <laughs> yeah, it may be longer. all night. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. That's right, and you know, it is time to let the community get to know the hospital again yes because mm -hmm. a lot of people were saying i don't like not having the hospital here i don't like not having somebody mm -hmm. i can depend on i don't like not walking in the door and knowing somebody exactly that's important mm -hmm. yeah. there, there would be a huge void if that facility were to not if it were not there mm -hmm. right um it would be a huge void in the community in the in the region really mm -hmm. sure yeah. because be a very large negative economic impact mm -hmm. exactly yes yeah. exactly like you said people when they move to an area, they want to know, is there a hospital there? Mm -hmm. is there are there doctors there I can yeah. go to? If yeah. there's not, they may yeah. not come here. No, exactly. I hear it every day with real estate. That yeah. is the number one mm -hmm. question. And it's because we all know as we age, we need mm -hmm. doctors that we're familiar with, doctors that are going to be there, people we can trust. Yeah, and right. that's yeah. important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm so glad y'all were here today. Well, we, thank you, thank you, well, thank you. Well, thank you. We've enjoyed you. it. And yes. you drove from Huntsville. My gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> mm -hmm. and you to be on the Sherry thing. Show? Why, is that, <laughs> why does that surprise you? <laughs> Let me tell you the story about my, my ticket in Huntsville, and this is funny. I was going a little fast. I was in a 1985 300 SD Mercedes, and I'm, well, it was when I had cataracts. Couldn't see after dark. Could not see after dark. So space. this trooper pulls me over. I was going fast. He pulled me over and he was huge. This man was like huge. He's like ginormous. And I'm going, oh my God. And he said, ma'am, he said, what's your hurry? It was like 7.20 at night. I said, I'm trying to beat dark home. He said, well, I've heard them all now, lady. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, why are you trying to beat dark home? I said, I can't see. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> License and registration. <laughs> License and registration. <laughs> it was so funny. He was so nice, though. Yeah, he, he wrote me a warning. He should have given me a ticket, but he wrote me oh. a really nice warning. Wow, look at a, that. Yeah, he look was nice. That. He was nice, but it was funny. And we had a house over in Cedar Bluff, Alabama. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't trying to get back to Georgia. Right. I was really from Huntsville to Cedar Bluff, wasn't that far. But it's 7.20 at night. Uh -huh. <laughs> Beating dark, <home. laughs> 
dark. Blind <laughs> ain't got a warning. That's a that's yeah. pretty good. That's pretty. He good. said, "I've yes. heard it all, lady." <laughs> Oh, well. Uh, it worked, right? It was the truth. <laughs> that usually works best. I called my husband. I said, man, I dodged a bullet. Yeah. He said, what happened? Did you about hit a deer? I said, no. <laughs> That's not what I'll tell you when I get home. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you for being well, here. Well, thank, thank you. you for thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And let's share Fannin Hospital with mm -hmm. everybody. Now, yes. what is its name, its formal name now? <clears throat> Blue Ridge Medical Center. Blue Ridge mm -hmm. Medical Center is mm -hmm. your new facility for mammograms, colonoscopies, cataract surgery, hand surgery, surgery. orthopedics, orthopedics. Yes. ENT, yeah. Yeah. Cardiac, cardiac rehab. rehab. There you go. Mm -hmm. Why would you leave home when you can do it at when, home? When you don't need to. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And if you have any questions, call she me. She can answer mm -hmm. every question on your mind. So pick up the phone and call and say, I want to talk to Susan Conker. I've known her since she was a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Thanks for being with us y'all today. Don't forget this goes straight to YouTube and you will be able to watch it morning, noon, and night. Share it with your friends. Subscribe and uh, we'll see you again soon. Tomorrow is a very special day here. Tune in and you will get my opinion on a whole lot of stuff oh. tomorrow. See you then. Bye y'all. We'll be watching. Bye.